Hello my dear students and welcome once again to Zenith Academy online. So today we are doing part 2 of the full question bank of the chapter endocrine system for ICSC class 10 examination. So in this video module we will be talking about state the location, state the function, odd one out and multiple choice questions from the chapter endocrine system. Okay. So if you have, haven't watched part one go ahead and see that there also we have got all the other questions covered. So let's start. The first is state the location. First question is thyroid. So what is the location of thyroid? You have to be very specific when you are mentioning the location at the base of larynx. Next adrenal glands. What is its location? At the top of each kidney. Pancreas. Between the stomach and duodenum. Prostate gland. It is located at the base of urinary bladder. You have to be very specific. Pituitary gland. At the base of brain. Now next category is state the function. But before that, children, let me tell you all these questions are from this particular book. Oswal Gurukul, most likely ICSE question bank for biology class 10. Okay. The link of this book is given in the description box. So you can check out this. Here you have, give, uh, here in this book, they have given category wise and chapter wise questions. Okay. And this is a very, very good book. You can go ahead and check it in the description box. So let's go ahead with state the function. So what's the function of thyroxine my dear children? It increases the rate of metabolism and maintains the energy balance in the body. What's the function of insulin? It converts glucose into glycogen and hence decreases the blood sugar level. Testosterone. What's the function of testosterone? Development of primary and secondary sexual characters in males. Estrogen. Development of primary and secondary sexual characters in females. So remember this was estrogen and earlier was testosterone. Testosterone is in males. Estrogen is in females. Then what is progesterone? Progesterone is maintains the normal course of pregnancy okay relaxin what's the function of relaxin it loosens the pelvic ligaments and softens the cervix of uterus during childbirth oxytocin its function is it stimulates uterine contractions during childbirth and causes ejection of milk from mammary glands. So these are the two basic functions of oxytocin. Now the next type of questions is choose the odd one out. Okay, These are very important questions and students make a lot of mistakes in choosing the odd one out. So these are the four options goiter, cretinism, scurvy and mixedema. So you have to mention which is the odd one out and the reason behind it. The category of the other remaining ones. So odd is curvy and the category where all the other three belong is they are diseases due to severe and chronic vitamin C deficiency. Okay. Cretinism. Sorry, scurvy is the disease due to severe and chronic vitamin C deficiency. Okay. And others are because of the deficiency or excess of hormones. Cretinism, mixed edema, simple goiter, acromegaly. So the answer is acromegaly. Disease, others are diseases related to thyroid gland. Somatotropin, gonadotropin releasing hormone, corticotropin releasing hormone and oxytocin. So which is the odd one out? Oxytocin. Hormones released by anterior pituitary. Thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pituitary gland and prostate gland. 
so the answer is prostate gland others are all endocrine glands next growth hormone tsh vasopressin or lh so the answer is vasopressin others are hormones secreted by anterior pituitary aldosterone cortisol progesterone epinephrine which is the odd one out yes progesterone hormone secreted by adrenal gland now let's come to mcqs that is the multiple choice questions which statement is not for a hormone they act on target organs usually away from the source glands they are secreted directly into the blood they are used again and again like catalysts or they are produced in very minute quantities and are biologically very active so the answer is this one they are used again again and again like catalysts so this is wrong for a hormone next the basal metabolic rate in body cells is regulated by is it regulated by parathyroid thyroid pituitary or thymus so the answer is thyroid next the mammalian thymus is mainly concerned with regulation of body temperature regulation of body growth secretion of thyrotropins or immunological functions yes so the answer is immunological functions very good which of the following glands has both endocrine and exocrine function so this is the easiest one probably so yes pancreas are the one pancreas is a mixed gland in which all the cells secrete enzymes and hormones most cells secrete hormones or few cells secrete hormones or the enzymes and hormones are secreted by separate cells so the answer is d enzymes and hormones are secreted by separate cells now secretin is secreted by is it uh, secreted by testis and it stimulates main secondary character or it is secreted by adrenal glands and stimulates heart beat or it is secreted by small intestine and stimulates pancreas or it is secreted by pancreas and stimulate conversion of glycogen into glucose so tell me the answer yes it is secreted by small intestine and stimulates the pancreas next vasopressin is concerned with quick digestion slow heartbeat concentration of urine or dilution of urine so the answer is yes concentration of urine glucagon is secreted by so is glucagon secreted by beta cells of islets of langerhans or alpha cells of islets of langerhans or beta cells of pancreas or the adrenal cortex so the answer is alpha cells of islets of langerhans correct okay next question is leydig cells are meant for are they meant for formation of sperms or production of progesterone or production of testosterone or the nutrition of sperm so the answer for this is production of testosterone yes production of testosterone so leydig cells are meant for production of testosterone now human chorionic gonadotropin okay whether it stimulates the growth of placenta or stimulates the development of new follicles or inhibits the secretion of milk till the child birth or it stimulates the corpus luteum to grow and secrete progesterone so the answer is yes obviously it stimulates the corpus luteum to grow and secrete progesterone now the next one the hormone secreted by posterior pituitary gland is is it growth hormone anti diuretic hormone adrenocorticotropic hormone or luteinizing hormone so yes it is adrenocorticotropic hormone 
okay so that was all for today i i hope that your exams goes really well and you are able to answer all the questions very very well so all the best my dear children and keep the learning always on on zenith academy online bye bye